is. I'm I'm impressed. That's uh that's worse real, than I thought. That's real bad, dude. Yeah, it looks like uh fucking spanking off the Silver Surfer. Mmm. <laughs> How bad do you think it's gonna look? I don't know, but we're about to get the camera down. Oh, there's a nice setup. <laughs> oh, that's where those went. These don't have a lot of play in them. Well, the whole crank does. So something's up. It's in and out play. Oh, dude, you can hear. Look at them all. Dude, that's so bad. Seriously, that's almost half an inch of play. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah, so that was probably grinding on the edge of these seals. Slamming everything. Toast. That looks like an almost new oil pump. Yeah, because it's covered in aluminum. I'm looking at all the pistons and I'm like, wow, okay, that's actually pretty clean. Like, that's not that bad, bro. And then I go down and I'm like, uh, fine, 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 fine. And then I see this dude. What? It's broken. And it looks like the moon. So what I'm thinking happened was a valve hit it, broke the piece off, it just sent it somewhere, and then fuel built up in there and burnt it. Now, I'm not like, obviously, a good engine builder because I got shit everywhere. I don't know, man. That's pretty crazy that that happened. So uh, we'll keep digging into it. All right, let's see what that looks like. We're coming out with a little bit of fuzz. Dude, that's weird. It's pretty. Why is it in my cooling jacket? I don't know, but this one looks worse. What do you mean it looks worse? I thought... There's two of them. I thought that was way worse. It's got little hairs on it. Look at that. That's a lot more. Wow, that's bad. There's that's like really actual, bad. actual, like, chunks in there. There's metal all over this thing, dude. Hey, Junk. I didn't think we'd need uh, magnets in the water system, but... Well, uh, kind of wish I didn't, though, dude. Well, that saves us... Uh, that can ruin your water pump. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm that to uh, Bob. That's fucked up. You're going to scare him again. All right, well, that's that. We're going to um, take the head and put on the new motor and um, get working on the rest of it. How is that unregistered handgun legal? Remember, this is your idea. <laughs> there you go, Set her down. Oh yeah, she decked on all the fucking pins and everything. Beautiful. Dude, the first time I built the motor, I did it that way, and I had it fucking stuck like sideways, and I, I was all by myself. <sighs> we did it! All right, back in the garage. I'm um, fixing my fuel lines, brake lines, all that stuff. Uh, Ian just tore apart the bottom end of the motor and uh, found some bad stuff. So we're trying to save the ARB hardware over here, and we started digging into this. This is cylinder one all the way through cylinder six. And cylinder one, we noticed there's some deep grooves over on this side. It's supposed to be a dark gray. These were calico coated bearings, right? You yeah. Got these race coated. Yeah, and they weren't cheap. Yeah, they. You can see there's just aluminum flex right on there, and there's some deep grooves over on this side. And this piece right there, that's not supposed to be like that. That is terrible. And so every single bearing was like that. And right here, that's what it's supposed to look like, and just washed out with like deep grooves you can feel on your fingernails. So the rod bearing is kind of the same thing. This one wasn't as terrible, but you can definitely see that it's been worn off and it shouldn't be like that. Nope. No, not at all. And yeah, the thrust bearing, uh, this is the thrust bearing, absolutely worn on both sides. It's supposed to have deep grooves right there, oil channels. Yeah. And those are almost worn completely away. That's how much this has been beaten down. So... Well, hopefully that motor won't uh, blow up like this one. Yeah. But the pistons are actually even worse. Yeah, so we thought the pistons would be saveable. And we're checking the ring lands look fine over here. This is the exhaust side of the piston. But this, you can feel that with your fingernail, and it's supposed to be completely smooth and machined over here. And it's not. It is a dull, rough edge. Not the end of the world, not the worst thing. However, up here on this ring land, 
Oh my god. It, this upper edge right there is a perfect circle, but it like cuts down. It's been worn away down there on that edge, if you can see that. And so this, from the top, it looked fine. You can kind of see some pitting there. Wicked well, bad. But then down, down here, it's missing heavy material. We'll see how bad the other ones get, because even this one, dude. Yeah, this was this was six, and this one is cylinder five. The worst ones that we thought were one and maybe two, and we haven't even started to pull those out yet. Yeah, so. so we're going to keep pulling, and I'm going to keep going on the E30. Not going to film really any of that, because just boring fuel line stuff, but uh, we'll film whatever's interesting. All right, keep going. Yay! Yay! I need a speed crank for this. Your mom gave me a speed crank. I don't enjoy working with you. <laughs> what is it? Wow, that one looks clean. And the bearing shell was still on the crank. Junk. Fused to it. What'd you find, boss? Well, so you can see the traces of the coating up there, that dark gray substance. Yep. And then just rough and gritty down here. That's bad. Mm-hmm. Just like all M20s, M30s rule. No. <laughs> Fucking. Dude, I just got a bad one. A bad five. Maybe it's me. It's probably me. I'm going to pull the last piston out and see what it looks like. Uh, this is the worst one, at least, from the top that I could see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that one? She got melty. Packed her bags. Said, see you later, Jack. Hit the road and don't come back. That, oh. Under there, if you notice that, that's like almost like two or three millimeters of the ring gap. It's like the top of the piston wanted to come off. Yeah, this compression had to be deadly low. Oh, yeah, it was low. Oh, and interesting. Let me see if that's a, a thing or not. Your valves had hit at some point. Yeah, but see are this? they all like that, I thought? No, or all see, the valves hit? No, see this one? Yep. There's a huge divot there. There isn't over here. Oh, okay. Um, Let me see if I can wipe that off a little bit cleaner. But that is not the same like that. Oh, yeah. This one definitely spanked up there because this is an impact mark and it shouldn't be double cut like that. Let me see if there's any other. Like that. I think they're all like that. That's why I thought they didn't hit. Oh, no, that's definitely a hit because you can see the material's pushed up and there's yeah. a ridge there. Yeah, everything hit. Everything How many hit. times, though? I think I hit. That was enough. That yeah. was more than once. Probably 40 times. So the pistons were probably like globs of metal melting hot and they were just stamping it same like a fucking letter press. I'm so glad I pulled it out. I don't know, maybe it's something else. The whole thing, like everything that could go wrong with a motor, it has. Yeah, like every bearing, dude, feel that. Just feel the, the surface. It's Oh my god. It feels it's like... not as bad as Vinny's cams though. No, that one was way but worse. still, that sucks dude. That was a really good crank for the first 50 miles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee table now, so that's gonna be cool. Are you actually, or are you gonna toss Could. this thing out? Why not? Good welding practice. It's actually not that heavy. Yeah, because it's got nothing in it. All the metal's in the oil pan. Except alone. Dude, this box is completely fine. Cool. You wanna buy it? No, I don't wanna buy it. What fucking car am I gonna downscale, power-wise? So. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Once the dyno sheets come out. Again. 800 bucks. It made 355 a wheel. Are you fucking kidding me? You did not do that. I did do that. Oh my so god. So there's 12 of these, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> fucking... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 14. Nine. Yeah, I put uh, all my engine oh. parts on a rag and just took it and then threw it. Honestly, great storage system. I yeah, think. okay, fine. I, I'm I, not gonna blame you for that one, but <laughs> All right, we get back to work. All right, so it's been a few more days I've been kind of all over the place with this car and this build and I replaced actually all the lights in the garage Well, most of them so you can actually see me a little bit better now at night But this is what we got you guys already saw all of the um, damage that happened when the engine blew up But we got the head on I torqued it down just gonna put that together. What we got going on for the engine bay, so I cut a hole so I can replace rockers if it ever breaks again. I figured that way, uh, if I have an easy way to fix it, it won't break anymore. That's usually how it goes. But I got some more stuff I gotta do. I gotta clean up the engine bay a lot, paint it, 
uh, finished the engine obviously, then I got a new wing. It's actually off a, I think Porsche 911. I don't really know anything about Porsches, but I know it's off a Porsche. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. See you at the track.